Hi, welcome to the Catholic Sound Festival. It takes place today, Friday, July 10th, Saturday, July 11th, and Sunday, July 12th. All the programming begins at 1 p.m. Central Time. There are panel discussions that take place at 3 p.m. Central Time and evening concerts that begin at 7 p.m. Central Time. Over 30 artists are involved from both Europe and the United States. And I'd like to welcome the newest members of the cooperative, Yap Blanc, Chris Corsano, Fred Lomberg Holm, Brandon Lopez, and Claire Rousset. It's great to have you be a part of this endeavor. Um, a big thanks to the visual artists involved in this event, Kim Alpert, Patrick Kane, and Feta Benyalva. Uh, everyone involved in the panel discussions that are taking place, particularly the moderators, Kim Alpert and Olivia Junal, who are helping me with that project. And <clears throat> today's program begins with a trio with Ab Bars, Terry X, and A. Kenneman. That's followed by a solo performance by Yap Blanc. I'll be doing a solo performance as well. And the fourth set is a duo performance from Paul Nelson Love and Frode Gerstad. Um, all this is taking place, the festival, uh, the online concerts, whatever music that's happening, it's all happening in a context of great cultural crisis right now. And the focus of Catholic Sound has been generating income for experimental musicians involved in the collective. Uh, recently, it's been, become very, very clear that we can take the platform we have and retool it to help support causes that are extremely important, like the movement for black lives in the United States. Uh, there are causes like this everywhere, and we want to help support them. And we found that it's possible to do so by channeling income and revenues from recordings that are made by members of the cooperative and donating those funds to different causes. We're going to continue to do that. Um, this is an ongoing process, and the energy involved needs to take place over time. Uh, I'd like to encourage everybody who's listening to try to contribute in any way they can, whether it's making phone calls, donating money, going to demonstrations, anything you can do. The support is needed. It's going to take time, but we cannot give up on this, and the effort and energy is going to make the world a better place for all of us. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the festival.
This is Jaap Blonk in Arnhem, Netherlands. I'm honored to be part of the Catalytic Sound Festival. This is a pre-recorded video, which I, uh, well, being an amateur and video things, uh, you will see it's not as slick as it could be. I will perform a computer-generated text called Eight Mechanical Statements uh, in four sections of two statements each. And in between, there will be my personal versions of three historical texts, which I will announce uh, each one before they start. Sufi kipo, tatu pako, fi se sufu ke pitota puka for si se. Zu do ba sufi ke go, fi se fu, da so se su du bo fa su, gi ke fu se bi, Now you will see and hear four short poems from 1921 by Theo van Doesburg, uh, founder of the art movement De Stijl, uh, letter klankbeelden or letter sound images. One.
Or in dissonance. Ooh, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, 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 Now you will hear the famous Hans Arp poem about Kaspar with a video made from an image by Paul Clay. coffee grinder who will entice the idyllic Joe he confused the boats at sea with that little word paraplew and he named the winds be father oh no Bells, Caspar is dead. The crayfish clatter in the chimes when one says his first name. And so I keep sighing. Caspar, Caspar, Caspar. Why have you become a star or a chain of water on a hot whirlwind or an udder of black light or a transparent brick on the groaning drum of rocky being? Now our heads and toes are drying up And the fairies lie half charred at the stake Now the black skittle alley rumbles behind the sun And no one whines the 
compasses or the wheels of the barrows anymore. With the rat at the isolated table Ooh, We'll chase of the devil When he wants to lure the horses Who will explain to us The monograms in the stars his bust will adorn the mantelpieces of a truly noble man. But, but, but that is no consolation and snuff for a Death's head, snuff for a dead, for a death's head. There's a famous poem by the French poet Ballarmé. A throw of the dice will never abolish chance. So what did I do? I took this poem and scrambled it more and more and more and will uh, recite that now. It goes from more or less recognizable text in English translation to pure gibberish. <laughs> by the sea, by his the unique nutritious whitened sile of the he wing of literally not marble corpse, not spurts the abyss with this a far sparts anxious with the a the mastellation. And any the o'er running over he acted, sparse mammon, jeaned based, gets one such not spurts, ancestrates. Merges trials the singlity, it added up. Cleaps clarity, it added up. Cleaped to oppose. From the will count whiteness born of a sparse else but Kelly, the bittle roller. Mergest a uh, to dished who event the veil as much immobilizes the his. Long over completely of dish shadow window by the feather gray with their the meeting the sick creates p -p perhaps so muching and polished indicators well called of a shadowing its 
in final place chances Mary to wash to soften with proudly from this concourse of light in noon except toward direct and in this far a dark Good looking and cutting, stalloping up in oak of like and success trilinusinally evaporates many must the suck. Some fish chin overally, some ink and spart and to the rinse or the seckle irin not use call and old in at least freckle a feedy it was if there bring a wrist out not a rove biddy not as implutch abbey as ear the caps thin villain in thieves Soft and this loose status topostopia de anuveratis of Tadart, Ella reading a sub by ligging of this by Torres Padinses. Call us. Ign a was to depth and she right not manning. A pinciot let sparrowage thus lessen the thighs of some extent cause operate well again Risa. Oh, so Kelly Davis and the foreman by the thin glean in the thirst by the side the tall pretty hands up the bay on bent warm to the deristic alacoli at this metal fallen thief low this birds which as sub subdued open totally the authorized federal well point and the theory by Muxid this up to me the undoubtedly has a lit and lit it wimpark light there a like the anid mansion whose way and but Cold on your distal soon assembly thing. At wash it a lower tell of for a hopeless forbes but same fat rock, but the echo at a simple sit as it were only by hmm. And you nick it is a epitome third. Some I say, same radium collects the world habitat, how to prepare a call of the dead. With the Bolasco, I was also fine up at night, turning on a sacre, a design on a buckle as a hawker. All this is for up that ang anger for it, and kin stubby. Che and hang off as a stoop, and a voluntary as a dead academic. Instead of that, when Sinny, with a sorry, a move it to stick out salient. I can uh, swim at the fripped up air on popular surfaces. Eagerly by Stasi of the Oak. Big group of check, set, check, and at seven hill and mattery sailed. It's a wish as if it enriched the gas at this test for and I got some wicked and the air ominous illuminate blink wintly the edge of the blink some moving for being also not triple to turn things a ship is divine ways I click some heading the thing comes when saying I had to charge the hill check I think Gopher out of the same thing about the test when she looks at the video, it is the video at the top of the video. Wow.
Hi, for my solo set I played four pieces which I'd like to dedicate to musicians who impacted my music very directly. The first is a tenor performance and that's dedicated to Sonny Rollins who motivated me to switch to playing the tenor after playing the trumpet for many, many years. Um, and I need to thank him because that was a good decision for me. <laughs> and I'd also like to dedicate that piece to Joe McPhee whose solo album Tenor uh, altered my thinking of, about music completely and, yeah, transformed my perspective on what I wanted to do as a musician and kind of brought me to where I am now. Uh, the second piece is dedicated to Eric Dolphy. It's a bass clarinet piece, which on some level is probably not surprising that that's for Dolphy. But Eric Dolphy also affected my music in terms of solo performance on reed instruments. His recordings uh, really made me realize uh, that the solo format was super viable. I had not yet heard Anthony Braxton's alto, uh, for alto, and um, the Dolphy solo pieces were really the first ones I connected with and heard often. And also uh, the idea of being a multi-instrumentalist came from Dolphy uh, up until that point. 
when I was in college and began to really research Dolphy's music more seriously, um, I figured playing the tenor saxophone was going to be a lifetime pursuit, which it is, and uh, felt that way based on Coleman Hawkins and Sonny Rollins, figuring if it was good enough for them, it was going to be good enough for me. Um, but hearing Dolphy and his playing on alto, bass, clarinet, and flute, and the range, the orchestral range within his own uh, expression was was huge for me, and uh, that changed my perspective completely on on what I wanted to do as a player. So the extra instruments really came from hearing Dolphy's music, uh, the extra instruments from me. And the third piece is dedicated to Hami Drake, although Hami doesn't play reed instruments, um, playing with him in the DKB trio and other projects um, motivated me to want to pick up the baritone sax. And so this baritone piece is for him. Um, I, yeah, there's no question that playing with Hami Drake is one of the pinnacles of what I get to do. And having an instrument with a lower register uh, that could also compete with his energy uh, became more and more important to me. <laughs> and so the baritone sax uh, added into my collection of instruments came from working with Hami Drake. And the last piece is dedicated to John Carter, an amazing multi-instrumentalist who shifted to focusing on the B-flat clarinet. And his album, A Suite of Early American Folk Pieces, is one of the greatest solo recordings I've ever heard in my life. So thanks to them, and thanks to you for listening, and thanks for being at the Catholic Sound Festival.
Mm-hmm. 